Hey, what's going on? Welcome to another lesson. In this video, we're going to set up a simple video streaming feature to help you see how you can implement it in your own app. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so now we're gonna begin building our feature. So right now I'm using a blank page within my bubble app. And do note that the steps that we'll be doing here are basically similar to the steps that you'll see within the documentation. So of course, we always advise checking out the documentation as well as the demo editor for more reference if you'd like to get more clarification. So right now, let's go ahead and start building the video feature within our bubble app. So first and foremost, I'll go ahead and add the Agora RTC element right here on the page. And I'll simply name it stream, like so. And I'll go ahead and give it a width of 570. And then for the height, let's make it 350, like so. And then I'll just move it to the side like this. So this is basically where the webcam video will be shown during live streaming. So next we will need to add an input field. So I'll go ahead and grab one right here. And then I'll add it to the page like this. And this will be used for the stream name. So I'll simply say stream name, like so. And then now we'll need to add a button. So I'll just grab that right there and place it on the page like so. And this will basically be used to start the stream. So here I will say start stream, like so. And maybe I can just increase the width just a bit, like that. And then we also need another button that will allow the user to leave the stream. So I will name this leave stream like so. And perhaps you can also change the color to this red like so. And I'll just remove this condition. So right now what we want to do is that when the stream has started, we want to go ahead and hide this button and we want to show this button. But when the stream has not started, we want to show this button and hide this button right here. So we're going to use a custom state for that. So I'll go ahead and double click on the page. And here I'll go ahead and add a new custom state. And for the state name, I'll say stream started. And this will be of type yes or no. And then I'll click create. And by default, we want to say no. So by default, the stream should not start. So now we want to go ahead and add some conditions for these buttons. So for the start stream button, I'll add a condition and I'll simply say when Agora streams stream started is yes. This element should not be visible, but then when the same condition is no, which means the stream has not started, we want to go ahead and show this element. And we'll do the opposite conditions for this button. So when the stream has started, this element should be visible. But then when the stream has not started, this element shouldn't be visible. So that simply completes the conditions for these buttons. And now we can go ahead and add the necessary workflows in order to allow the user to able to start the stream when this button is clicked. And the user should also be able to leave the stream when this button is clicked. So I'll go to the start stream button and then I'll click on start or edit workflows. So before we join the stream, it's important that we generate Agora tokens. So to do that, we need to add an action that actually generates the token. So you can search for token and it'll be this one that says generate Agora token. So here for the role, we're going to click on host. And then for the channel name, we're going to say input stream names value like so. And then for the privilege expired, we can say zero. So you'll notice that the property editor of this action allows you to choose the host role or the audience role. And the Agora RTC element also has the same option. You can see here that for this dropdown, we can select the role, which can be either host or audience. So this will be the host page. So that's why the role is set to host. So for the audience, what you would do is to create a new page 
and then you can change the role to audience. But again, this page is for the host, so we leave the setting as is. So now we'll go back to the workflow tab and we'll add another action. And we want to use this action that says join Agora RTC. So automatically it selects the Agora RTC element, which is named stream, which is the one that we added on the page. And for the room name, we want to use the same name within the input field. So we'll say input stream names value like this. And then it's important that you also set this field. So we'll say insert dynamic data, and then we'll say result of step one's Agora temporary token, like so. And then you can leave the default settings as is. So now we'll go ahead and add another action. And this one will be to basically change the state of our page. So we're gonna say Agora stream, and we wanna change the stream started custom state, and then we wanna click on yes. So since we clicked on start stream, we obviously want to change the custom state to yes. So I'll just change the color of this to green to show that this is the button that actually starts the stream. And now I'll go back and we want to start and edit the workflow for the leave stream button. And this one I'll say red. And for the first action, it's pretty straightforward. So we want to select on leave Agora RTC and automatically we have our Agora element right here. And of course, let's not forget to change the state. So I'll say Agora stream, stream started. And obviously we want to click on no. Right, perfect. And then lastly, we want to go ahead and add a placeholder when the stream has not started. So I'll add a group. So I'll just add it right here. And then I'll name it placeholder. And we basically wanna give it the same dimensions as this Agora element, because we're gonna hide or show it based on whether or not the stream has started. So I'll simply copy this width. And we'll remember that the height is 350. So I'll come here paste in the width and the height, let's make it 350. And then we want to go ahead and remove the style. For the background, we'll click on white. So here I'll click on solid. And then for the roundness, let's just say five. And for the color, let's say blue. And let's change the width to two. And perhaps you can dial down the transparency just a bit, like so. And then we want to go ahead and add an icon within this group. So I'll click on icon and then I'll place it right here. And then I'll go ahead and search for video, like so. And let's make sure that this is centered horizontally and vertically. And for the color, I'll just remove this and then I'll change it to blue. And I'll dial down the transparency to 50, like so. So now we basically want to make sure that this group will have the same position as this Agora stream element. So we can see that it is 39 on the X axis and 69 on the Y axis. So here we're gonna come to this group and basically change those numbers to the same numbers as our Agora element. And perfect, we can see that it is positioned on top of the Agora element. So what we wanna do now is to add the conditions that will show or hide this element. So I'll paste in this expression. So when the stream has started, this should not be visible. And then when the stream has not started, this element should be visible. Exactly. And then I'll go to the Agora RTC element. And when the stream has started, this element is visible. But then if the stream has not started, this element should not be visible. And it's important to mention that you also need to change the mode. So we have two modes. We have real time call and we also have the stream mode. So since we're setting up the video streaming feature, we can click on stream just like that. And then lastly, we can just go ahead and place this button 
on top of the start stream button so that they are both positioned on the same place. And that pretty much wraps up our settings. So we can now go ahead and test out this feature. So within this field, I will go ahead and add the stream name. So I'll say test and then I'll click on start stream. So as you can see, the feature works pretty well and it was very simple to set it up. And in order to exit, simply click on this button right here that says leave stream. And just like that, we can see that the user can start the stream as well as leave the stream. And obviously we were using a very simplified UI design since this was just for demonstration purposes. But of course, you're free to customize it and make it more beautiful for your own application. All right, so now I'd like to show you how to create the page for the audience since the one we just created was for the host. So the audience page is very similar to the host page. So that's why we can actually clone it. So I'll click on Agora stream. And then for the page name, I'll simply say Agora stream audience, just like that. And then I'll click on create. So the key difference between the host page and the audience page is the setting that we need to configure for the Agora RTC element. So here, we can see that the mode is set to stream, which is correct. And then for the role, we need to change it from host to audience. So what basically means is that the webcam for the host will be shown within this Agora RTC element. So that's why it's important to select on audience for the audience page. And that's basically it. So fortunately, we don't have to do a lot of changes for the workflows. So for this button, instead of start stream, I'll just say join stream since the audience will be joining rather than starting because the host is the one that's responsible for starting the actual stream. So we'll go ahead and click to preview this page. Right. So the audience here will simply need to enter the stream name that the host has created and then click on join stream. So for example, if the host creates a name like test one, two, three, then the audience will need to insert test one, two, three as the stream name and then click on join stream. And after they have joined, they will see the webcam of the host right here. So that's simply how it works. So we can see that it was quite simple to set up this feature and it's all thanks to the Agora plugin that makes it super easy to implement a video streaming feature within any bubble application. So now that we're done with that, we can now move along to the next lesson.